Hey guys, it's Mr. Kaminsky. Uh, first video of the year, and we're going to cover the triangle inequality theorem. Now, I don't want you guys to be worried about this theorem. It's a very simple theorem. Uh, it's very easy to learn and memorize, um, so it will not take you long to learn this, guys, okay? Now, make sure you have your Cornell notes out, that you're writing everything that you see in the video, uh, writing down questions in the left column, please, so that way we can talk about it tomorrow. Uh, we will be talking about your questions and clearing up any misconceptions that you may have in this video. All right, guys, so let's get it right into it. So the triangle inequality theorem, basically what it states is it just says that the sum of any two sides of a triangle, okay, so if I take any two sides of a triangle and whatever their lengths are and I add them together, it must be larger than the third and last side, okay? That's that's the gist of it. It's that simple. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out a look at a brief example. And so what we have here is we have triangle ABC, and so we have line segment AB, uh, which is five. Uh, again, guys, the length you can you know if you want to put inches, centimeters, feet, meters, whatever you want to put, you can put that there. Just remember it's a length. Okay, so line segment AB is 5, line segment BC is 3, and line segment CA, or you could say AC, however you want to say it, is 4. And I tried to color code this for you guys, make it a little bit easier to interpret. Um, let me know what you think of it, okay? Alright, so let's do the first possibility. So here's the first possibility. Remember, the, the theorem says that the sum of any two sides of the triangle is larger than the third. So let's start with the uh, two sides. So I started with... Uh, line segment AB plus line segment BC has to be greater than the third line, line segment, which is AC. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just simply plug in my numbers. And 5 plus 3 is 8, and clearly 8 is greater than 4. Okay, so that checks out. Oh, and also, too, guys, these little sideways little arrows here, remember those are inequalities. Um, you have the greater than, less than sign, so Keep that in mind. If you're having issues with that, remembering what that is, uh, come see me after school, okay? All right, so let's look at our second possibility. We have line segment BC uh, plus line segment AC is greater than line segment AB. So once we plug the numbers in, and remember, we're not typically, we're not actually plugging numbers in, we're just kind of replacing the line segment with their actual lengths, okay? So we have 3 plus 4, which is 7, and clearly 7 is greater than 5. So good, that one checks out as well. All right, so now let's look at the third possibility. Remember, you're only, only going to have three possibilities here, okay? All right, so our last possibility is uh, line segment AC plus line segment AB is greater than line segment BC. And again, once we replace the line segments with their actual lengths, it turns out that that one works as well. 4 plus 5, which is 9, and obviously 9 is greater than 3. So great. So all three of our possibilities check out. Um, and so it confirms the triangle inequality theorem, okay? Alright, so now let's go ahead and look at another example here. And this one's going to be slightly different. Um, again, we're going to use triangle ABC. And I color-coded again for you to try and make it a little bit simpler, maybe to follow. Um, so what this question is asking, or, or stating, I guess it's more of a statement, says let's determine the possible lengths of X. So remember, sometimes what you're going to be asked to figure out, you know, given certain line segments of certain lengths, is it possible to form a, uh, a triangle with these lengths? And you'll have to figure that out using the triangle inequality theorem, going through the process of adding the two sides and see if they're larger than the third. We're going to do that in the next problem here. So this one, we need to figure out all the possible lengths. Now, there are more than one length for x that it could be to form a triangle. Okay. So all we're going to simply do is, and I just wrote this here real quick to just remind you that we're using the triangle inequality theorem. Everything comes back to that, okay? Um, so let's far, start with our first possibility. So our first possibility is a uh, line segment AB plus line segment BC is greater than line segment AC. And again, like we did in the last problem, we're just going to replace our line segments with their actual lengths. Okay, so AB is 5, BC, we don't know, that's what we're trying to find, is X, and AC is 9. Okay, now again guys, this comes down to your algebra. Now don't get scared of the inequality, it's just like if you were to solve using an equal sign. There are some differences, but you're not going to see those differences in this video. Um, but for the most part, it's the same, okay? So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides, okay? And what we get 
is x is greater than 4. Okay, we subtracted 5 from both sides, 9 minus 5 is 4, so x is greater than 4. Great, so I'm going to write that down just below on the left side here. Um, that's one of our possibilities, that x can be greater than 4. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our second possibility now, which would be line segment BC plus line segment AC is greater than line segment AB. And let's go ahead and replace what we know. Uh, so here we have x plus 9 is greater than 5. So again, you solve this just like you would any other equation. So what we do is we subtract 9 from both sides. Okay. Now, if you notice something here, x is greater than negative 4. Now, there's kind of a problem here with this negative 4. Can we have a negative length? No, we can't have a negative length where we have to deal on the positive side of our number line, okay? So this negative 4 is not valid. It cannot work, okay? So whenever you get a negative number, just remember we're dealing in, in positive values. Length cannot have a negative value, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our third possibility here, which is line segment AC plus line segment AB is greater than line segment BC. Okay, so here we have 9 plus 5 is greater than x, and this is, this is simple mathematics, everybody here should be able to do this, uh, 14 is greater than x. Now, there's another way you can write this. We can also write this as x is less than 14. Okay, so you can write it as x is greater, I'm sorry, 14 is greater than x, or you could write it as x is less than 14. Now for the purposes of what we're trying to do, it's better to write it as x is less than 14. Okay, so I'm gonna put that off to the side. So these are our two possibilities. x can be greater than four, and x can be less than 14. So that means that it can be any number in between four and 14, except the numbers four and 14. So you cannot include the number 4. It does not say greater than or equal to 4, it just says it has to be greater than 4, meaning 5 all the way up to 13. So we can't include the number 4 and the number 14. So if we draw it on kind of like a simple number line here, this is what you would have here. Everything that's red is touching are the numbers that can be x. x can be any of those numbers, so 5 through 13. But 4 and 14 are a no-go. You cannot use those, okay? All right, so here is our last example that we're going to take a look at. So it says, given three line segments of lengths 3, 7, and 10, I'm sorry, not 10, 15, determine if a triangle can be formed from these line segments. Okay, so you're trying to determine whether or not a triangle can actually be formed. If you were to place all three of these line segments, you know, connect them and form vertices, you're trying to figure out if you'd be able to form a triangle. Okay, and this is very simple, guys. Again, you're going to go and use the triangle inequality theorem, which again says that if you were to add two or more sides of any triangle, um, okay, then the third, then the, that sum will be larger than the third. Okay. All right, so let's check the first one. So we get 3 plus 7, which is 10, and being greater than 15. Well, clearly that doesn't work. 10 is not greater than 15, so that doesn't work. 7 plus 15, which is 22, greater than 3. That works. That's good. All right, let's check the last possibility. 15 plus 3, which is 18, and 18 is obviously greater than 7. So good. So two out of the three work. But here's the problem. That first one that we did, the 10 uh, is not greater than 15, that does not work. So it does not confirm the triangle inequality theorem for this for these set of line segments. Therefore, we cannot form a triangle from these line segments. And so just to kind of draw, draw it for you using a picture to show you what it would look like, this is essentially what you would have if you tried to form a triangle from these line segments. You have this gap, and what I like to call the sadness gap. Oh, isn't that sad? <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. Remember, take notes, pause it, rewind it, go through it. Make sure you know it for tomorrow because we will take the first 10 to 15 minutes of class to review your notes and any questions that you might have that you want to clear up. All right, guys, have a good evening.